Woodworking is one of the most popular hobbies on the planet. It's also one of the most profitable. For just a small investment and some starter tools, you can make some pretty incredible things. And people will pay you a lot of money for them. But if you've tried this yourself, you may have found that it can be pretty frustrating. People will really, really want to buy something one day, and then the next day, not want it at all. Have you ever run a craft show booth? You'll know exactly what we're talking about. Weekend to weekend, people's tastes and desires change wildly. But you don't need to be a fortune teller with a crystal ball to make your first $10,000 in woodworking. Even with a limited set of basic tools, you can take the secret that's in this video and build your own woodworking business empire. Don't believe me? We struggled to build a business until we learned this one secret and then we made hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we've documented the whole journey on YouTube so you can see it for yourself in action. And stick around till the end because we have a challenge for those of you who are brave enough to try it. We're Jenny and Davis. When we first started making money woodworking, we were stationed in Minot, North Dakota with the Air Force. In my very limited free time, I, we started to build furniture and it wasn't long until we wanted to start selling some of the things that we made to our friends. But I couldn't figure out what to make. I would sell a friend a piece of furniture and then when I would go to try to sell that again to somebody else, nobody wanted it. Someone would want a desk and so then I would try to go to the whole neighborhood and sell desks. We made these flyers, I had this really cool design, but no orders came in. I guess nobody in the neighborhood wanted desks. Then a friend of ours bought a kitchen table and so I thought that's it, kitchen tables. So I tried to market and sell kitchen tables. Well. Same thing, no orders. Then one day out of the blue, a friend ordered a bookcase from us. And right as I was about to start marketing bookcases that were probably gonna flop, my friend said something amazing. He said that the reason he loved our furniture so much was that when he moved across the country with the military, our furniture was so strong that it wasn't gonna get destroyed by the moving companies that the government uses. I know there's a lot of vets that watch our channel. You guys know what I'm talking about. See, most of our previous customers were military families and all the stuff that they bought from Target or Ikea or the regular furniture store would get absolutely destroyed when they moved. Our customers weren't buying tables and desks because tables and desks had a lot of demand. They wanted something nice that wouldn't get totally destroyed. So instead of trying to market and sell one specific object, we started telling people that all of our furniture was move proof and word got around and wouldn't you know, we started getting more orders for furniture. All of a sudden, people that worked out in the oil fields who move around a lot were calling us and saying, hey, I want some of this move proof furniture. If you tell people about the problem that your product solves and then show them how it's gonna solve it, you're gonna make way more consistent sales. And that's the big misunderstanding, is it really doesn't matter what the product is. It just matters what problem that product is solving for the customer. See, that's the difference between a hobbyist and a business owner. A hobbyist just builds things because they want to build them. A business owner solves a problem in exchange for money. I see a lot of brand new business owners in our DMs on Instagram asking us, what should I make and sell? What's gonna sell best in my area? And I get it, that's sort of the title of the number one video on our channel. So a lot of people have this question, but the question I always ask in return is, what problem do you wanna solve for your customer? So the big secret, here it is. The big secret that every product has is that it solves a problem for somebody. If you don't know what problem you wanna solve, if you just wanna build random objects and list them for sale and hope to make money, you're essentially playing the lottery and just hoping that whatever you list online for sale will magically make you money. If you wanna run a business, I'm telling you right now, you don't wanna play the lottery. You want a consistent flow of cash coming in for helping others. So don't just sell a product. Find a problem to solve and sell the solution. If you appropriately communicate how your product solves that problem, you'll find the customers. This seemingly simple approach, once we understood it and started practicing it, is what allowed us to quit our full-time jobs and do this full-time. Now for the challenge I promised you. If you want to try selling what you make, I want you to write down three problems that you think your product could potentially solve for someone. And then I want you to take those three problems and I want you to ask three friends which problem you think most people have. 
And then we want to hear about it. Please send us an Instagram DM, or if you're in the stud stack, let us know in Discord which one of those three problems your friends told you more people have. And we can talk about how to immediately work that into your marketing strategy so that you can start making more money faster. So head to studstack.net if you want to see everyone's results and learn together. Otherwise, I'll see you in the DMs. So go write down the three problems that your work can solve, and we'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see Ask you me, on the I next one. It, I just stick to the